The Office of Indigenization was founded in 2012. We work across the Institute to support decolonization, indigenization, and indigenous engagement. Central to success is partnerships with indigenous students, faculty and staff, and community organizations. The JABC is committed to innovation as it relates to justice and public safety training in response to the TRC call to action. Through our Elders in Residence program, our Aboriginal Gathering Place, and our Indigenous Medicine Garden, we offer a variety of opportunities and supports for Indigenous learners, faculties, and communities. My role here as a resident elder at the Justice Institute of British Columbia is a support role. We are here to assist with the staff, with the faculty and the students, and impart the knowledge of cultural, spiritual, ceremonial practices. The Aboriginal Education Advisory Council is a group of elders and Aboriginal professionals from various backgrounds and different disciplines. And the Council's role is to provide the leadership team with guidance and support by helping them to create and strengthen linkages and relationships with Aboriginal organizations and communities so that the Justice Institute can work in partnership with those folks and make sure that an Aboriginal voice and perspective is informing the strategic planning of the institution. In order to have a well-placed emergency program in an Indigenous area, first of all, you need the people within the community to be trained to deal with it. So if you're able to get trained people, qualified people within your own community, capable of dealing with these issues, then they can decide on what resources they need and they'll be able to direct them better into what they need to do. This is a very high level of importance, not only to have trained people deal with it, but actually have Indigenous people that live in the community be the ones that are trained. There's a lot of work for firefighters, especially for women, especially for natives, the minority. <laughs> it's not generally policing. You can get into the fire academy here BC, you can also uh, work for a BC ambulance to get into paramedic training. You can also work for Correction Service Canada. In 2014, in Kwanlandan alone, we received over 1,076 calls to police services. And I'm talking about a community that's 250 homes, 500 citizens that live there full time and a community only maybe a kilometer by kilometer. And when we started the Community Safety Officer Program, basically between 2014 and 2016, we actually dropped the number of calls by 40% in our community alone. Something's working and my belief is, is that the reason it's working is we built this program by the community for the community, you know, and it's based on culture and foundation. And when we incorporate that within the curriculum program with JIBC, our success is also the success of JIBC. So whether you're a prospective student, faculty member, or a community looking for customized training grounded in your culture and reflective of your community's needs and aspirations, we invite you to get involved.